Well, after a week in Gray Eagle, we're back on the road again. We have left Gray Eagle this morning under very smoky skies, and it hasn't gotten any better here at Topaz Lake. Yeah, we're stopping here for lunch, but last night was incredible. Yeah, last night we had dinner at the Iron Door in Johnsville. We hadn't been there for years, uh, but probably the best meal I've had in, oh gosh, probably a year or so. Yeah, Kurt had prime rib and I had the um, pork loin. Pork loin. God, it was so good. Just uh, melt in your mouth. It was delicious. And had a nice conversation with Bonnie, the owner, and um, had a great waitress and just an overall excellent experience. 79 year old Bonnie still running the place. Yep. yep. She's trying to sell it though. She's looking for a buyer. <laughs> so, yeah, you want to buy a restaurant? There's one available in Johnsville, California. So, we're going to have lunch here today at. Um, Topaz Lake. Topaz Lake, which you can't even see because the smoke is so bad. And going through Reno today was unbelievable. It's been the way, that way the whole way, the worst we've seen since we've been up here. So, but now we're uh, gonna have lunch and then it's on to Lone Pine. Good morning, Dan. Well, hello, Kurt. How are you today? Good. How was your evening in Lone Pine? It was nice. So uh, we stayed at the Dow Motel, which is actually a very nice motel, and then had dinner at the Mount Whitney restaurant. Oh, that was delicious, wasn't it? It was okay. <laughs> but actually, Lone Pine is a pretty cool place to stay. And then this morning, we had uh, breakfast at one of our favorite places. Alhambra. Hills, Hills Cafe. Cafe, yeah. And yeah, I had a yeah. huge croissant, oh, cheese, cake, sandwich. Oh my God, it was so amazing. But everything is homemade, fresh croissants. I mean, it's amazing, really my favorite place. So to work off that breakfast, we decided to drive up to Alhambra Hills Recreation Area. We're on the uh, bumpy dirt road going there right now. And we just did a great hike at the uh, Arches. Yeah, it was really nice, really beautiful. Amazing rock formations and uh, Hollywood used to film a lot of their movies here. Um, over 400 movies were filmed here. And I think they still do. Well, what do you think, Kurt? It's a nice arch. Just perfectly symmetrical. Isn't that wrong? Uh, now we're going to be going to the Western Movie Museum. I can hardly wait. <laughs> Just what Kurt loves to do. Back in Lone Pine. And I've been wanting to go there for a long time, but it's always closed. But uh, today it's open, so let's go to a museum. Oh, okay. The rocky hills and sagebrush-covered flats at the base of the Sierra Nevada Mountains, extending east to Lone Pine, California, and beyond, have a lengthy and illustrious movie history. For decades, the distinctive contours of these odd-shaped, bronze-colored rocks backed by Mount Whitney and other majestic snow-covered peaks have provided a spectacular setting for countless tales of Hollywood's Old West, as well as such far-flung locations as India, China, Afghanistan, and occasionally, even other planets. Out of the glorious pages of the history of the West has come a story of such power that it stands as one of the most dramatic sensations of the year. Its amazing scenes were filmed in the most desolate, yet most fascinating locale in the world. Gregory Peck as a renegade who trades his soul for gold and buys it back for a girl. Academy Award winner Ann Baxter as a girl who lives like a man, fights like a tigress, but responds to a kiss like a woman. More taste from l and the best you'll ever buy. Less cars and more taste. And remember, it's the perfect combination for modern smoking. Live water. Yeah. 